is the 3rd of September, and I'm kind of in whisper mode. I get to spend another bit of good time with my little buddy today. My sweetie's off doing some errands. But my little guy, he's taking a nap now, so I gotta be quiet so he doesn't wake up. Today, Diablo 3 comes out on the PlayStation 3. And a lot of my friends are downloading it or have it pre-ordered and probably will be playing it very soon. Now, I played Diablo 3 quite a bit on my computer and I uh, kind of did everything that there was to do. I beat it on the hardcore mode and uh, I don't know if I'm going to pay my $59.99 play a game that I kind of already have beaten the tar out of. I'm sure there are some new things in Diablo 3 that might be fun. And always getting a chance to play with your friends and have fun is, is worth any price. But we'll see. Times are a little bit tight. Now, on that line, I was talking to my sweetheart about one of the very unique concepts in Diablo 3. Now, let me look at the screenshots. Let me see here. Where are the screenshots? Here we go. All right, here we have a monk. See that guy fighting all those skeletons? He's got some goofy looking armor. And let's look over. Here we have a wizard. She's using a laser beam. And she's got some funky looking armor. There's another wizard. There's the big barbarian with the axes, and he's got his own armor. Now, this guy right here, he is much, much, much bigger than this skinny lady here. That is for sure. She's probably like a small, he's definitely a large guy. That's the one thing at Diablo that I always thought was very, very funny. For example, if I was playing a barbarian, and I found this big, big, chest piece, basically this huge chest piece that gave me plus 20 to vitality and plus 20 to strength and had 800 points of armor. I could trade that piece of armor to a wizard who could also put it on and it'd end up looking like a skimpy uh, bikini top that shows a lot of cleavage. I always thought that was strange that the big giant barbarian with hulking muscles can wear the exact same armor as the cutesy, petite little wizard that basically looks like she should be on a cover of Cosmo. That's kind of strange. But that does give me a good idea. And I think I might be sending that idea to Texas.